Sorry about that, guys. Had to change the batteries in the camera. Okay, we were talking about campfires. And looking at the topic of a campfire and the different types of fire that I have found in my life served a valuable purpose beyond just a regular fire. That is, for example, and these are just 10 fires that I think are the important 10 fires for you to know. And that is a Siberian fire. And that's where you've got a base log and then a series of logs coming over the top to feed to it to project heat. That's good for certain kinds of cooking, roasting, and a long fire for sleeping by. The teepee fire. Teepee fire is great for generating a lot of light and consuming a lot of the smoke. So it's a low smoke, high light, high project heat fire. The log cabin fire. The log cabin is great for generating coals and quick coals where they fall down to a central place where I can shovel them out of. So I build a substantial log cabin with light stuff up on top and I keep resupplying the stuff to the top so those coals fall down that I can shovel out from between my two larger logs. The Dakota fire. Great way to uh, utilize a uh, low firewood supply, focus the heat right here, and also in very windy areas, excuse me, where I can't have an open fire like this because the wind's gonna just blow the heat away. Years and years ago, I was at a living history event and we had a coffee pot hanging on a tripod right above a fire, I mean right above it. The, the flames kept licking it. In an hour and a half, it never boiled with us stoking it. The heat was taking it all that way. So a Dakota fire pit was the only way we could really get it. And it's great for other things like bakings and stuff like that and just focusing your heat. The V fire, a very quick fire. This is just small sticks thrown into a V shape with a pot, a canteen cup or something set in the middle of them. And it focuses heat on two planes and makes it where you can grab and pull the handle out without getting your hand burnt so easy. The keyhole fire. This is more of a fire when I'm setting up a permanent camp where I have a continuous fire going here, like this, a generic fire, and then I pull out over here and produce a place to put the coals for cooking so I rake. So that can be a big bright fire so I can see and heat up a cold camp, and yet I can pull coals over here to be able to cook on. That's a keyhole fire. Swiss torch. Now I use a different name for this. But this is an extreme wet conditions, muddy ground. We would drive sticks into the ground. And I'm gonna demonstrate this very soon, guys. Very close together, and then build a fire up here on top of it. This got it up out of the mud, the water, whatever, and elevated the, the fire up here where we could generate the light and the heat without it dropping down in the water. Similar to what she used in country in areas of the country where you got deep snow. You gotta build a platform up. For it. You can split logs or you can drive in stakes, but we're going to demo that one. Uh, the self-feeding fire. That's where you've got a fire and two V's of logs driven in the ground so the firewood keeps continuously feeding in. It's sort of a trick, but it's a very long burning fire. It's a fire that I can set up, usually with a saw and a ready supply of wood, so that I can have it continuously feeding in so I can lay down and go to bed and don't have to get up every 30 minutes to restoke the fire. The upside down fire. This is a fire that I'm gonna build quickly, stacking up with all the components, put the fire on top of it and let it burn its way down. It burns slowly, so I get a lot of time out of it. And this allows me, especially at night, to set this fire pit up and then set it on fire and go do what I gotta do and it will slowly burn its way down. I get a lot of time out of this fire. It's a generate light fire, but not necessarily a cooking fire because the coals haven't made it to the bottom. And it's, it's a warming fire, but not necessarily the best warming fire. But we'll deal with that a little bit later. And finally, number 10, the star fire. Now this is one that I like to use when I can find a ready source of fat wood that's in post form, like you've got a uh, fence post or a series of pines that got killed so you've got a lot of limbs that are fat wood. I'll put the ends into a star shape and get them going into a small fire and then you simply scoop them in. They'll burn for hours and it burns a nice, bright, hot fire. You don't cook on that fire because of the soot from it. 
but it generates a lot of light and very low maintenance fire. Now that's just a taste of what I'm trying to compile. You know, the 10 fires, fire ignition system, fire tenders, um, on and on, how to carry water, how to purify water. I'm in the very early stages of it right now, guys. I'm trying to pull it out of here. And I'm going to be going back through my videos that I've created over the last 10 years and pulling out information from those to redo to create this series. Now this series, like I said, is gonna be over on the Old World Alliance and I'll put the link to that in the description box. And it is not up yet. I, I'm just starting this, guys. I only got one or two videos over there now and it's about flintlock rifles. But I will be putting a lot of content out there. And ultimately, when I get this ironed out, then I'm going to be looking for a book publisher. Now, I've already had several people approach me um, that they're willing to just take the videos and transcribe it if I want to, and that's an option. I can write. I have no problem writing. Writing in English, now that's a little different, but I can write uh, fairly well, and I've been published several times before in other areas, and mostly in... Um, historic magazines and things. So I can do this. Um, I just gotta get it all together. So this year, 2020, my focus is going to be breaching out into other mediums and focusing this knowledge into something that you can have and keep. That there eventually is gonna be a tome of knowledge from Blackie that you can put on your bookshelf to at least have a an idea. Um, hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please, any questions, things you'd like to see me cover to go into this or onto videos, please put into the uh, comments. I'll do what I can for you. I keep a list of um, video requests and things like that, and that's where a lot of my stuff comes from. It's answering your questions. So once again, guys, thank you for following my channel. Till next time, I'm Blackie for Shamans Forge, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.